Okay, so have you ever heard of sustainable gardening? So I know a lot of us have been growing our own vegetable patch this summer, or maybe you've been thinking about it. So today we're gonna to show you great ways to conserve while you enjoy that new gardening hobby. We're gonna learn how to feed our garden today from our kitchen. So instead of throwing away those food scraps, why not reuse them in an eco-friendly way? To show us some great ways to get it done is food and sustainability author, Punita Chitvalavarma. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome to the show, Panita. Um, okay, so tell us a little bit about sustainable gardening and why you think it is better for us to use items from our kitchen to fertilize our gardens. Well, it's all about being green, right? Sustainable is uh, using what we have, reducing what we throw away, creating less waste, and then in the end, reusing what we can as much as we can, right? And so this is all using our food scraps after, you know, the food that has already nourished us can still have beauty and purpose and end up in our uh, garden. Mm. I love this idea. And you're gonna be Thank demonstrating you. ways, great ways for us to practice feeding our gardens from our kitchen. So let's get to your first idea. So the first one I have here is tea leaves. And so for tea, you've got the tea bags and the loose leaf tea in front of you. So there's a couple of ways to do this. And so many of us love tea, right? And so um, you can, um, once you're done with the tea, so whether it's loose leaf tea or the tea bags, dry them for maybe two, three days. Okay. Um, on your counter. I have a little station in my kitchen and everything kind of dries on there. And you can, if you're using loose leaf tea, it's over here in the little bowls. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you've and dried then, that out after, like for a couple of days, did you yes, say? Yes, a couple okay. of days, two, three days. That's the magic okay. number. You'll hear it a couple of times today. Okay. But um, crumple it up and and then pop it right in here. You've oh, got really? The Swiss chard. Um, Mel and I have Swiss chard, oh, and then you've got gardenia that's in That's fine, I can just put it in the gardenia as you well, can, just You can it put it in the gardenia, right. and around the soil, okay. it, um, it, it nourishes nice the soil. It smells nice, right? So if you one, have it in a bag though, Punita, do you have to cut it out of the bag? Yes, you, you do. do. Yeah, so okay. I've got scissors for you, but you could totally cut this up. Okay. And then sprinkle this straight away into the soil. And I do this uh, a few times during the year. And so the tea leaves keep uh, drying on the counter. Oh. And then, um, and then I make uh, a jar of tea leaves and it's wonderful. Okay. Wonderful That's actually really plant easy. food. Yes. That's really, really, it's really easy. easy, right? Super easy. Super easy. That's the whole thing about, you know, sustainability, sustainable gardening works if we can make it easy and real life. And that's what a lot of the work I do. I teach people how to incorporate little bits of sustainability in our everyday lives. Yeah, it's so Love true. It. Yes. Another big one that we see here is eggshells. Yes. So a lot of people maybe just throw them in the compost, but you have another purpose for them. I do. And so eggshells often end up in the same tray in the corner of my kitchen. So there's eggshells and tea leaves that are drying. And then once they've dried, again, two to three days, they get uh, really crispy. And they're surprisingly not stinky at all, right? I was going to say, do they smell? <laughs> they <laughs> don't, don't smell. Okay. They don't smell. Smell. I mean, you can sniff them. We don't have our masks on, but they are not stinky. And so what I do is, uh, so one of the bowls in front of you is crumpled oh. eggshells. Oh, did you just use like a mortar? A mortar? Just... Um, well, well, I used a blender. I went modern. Okay. And, but you could totally use the mortar and pestle. And, uh, and you, this is what you end up with. And again, in the soil, Sprinkle it around. Sprinkle. This adds a lot of calcium and magnesium into the soil oh my God, and a lot ooh. of other minerals. And so um, how much are we talking about? Like two, three scoops? Like is there a you know good so, amount? So these plants right now are getting a real big juice of superfood. <laughs> 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 but a teaspoon um, of the tea leaves and the eggshells a couple of times a month. Got it. That's all and you need. And you could just store these, I guess, and just save them for like how long do that's, they good for? That's actually my bonus tip. So what I do is actually dry them together and then um, I blend them every couple of months. I blend a whole batch and then I make a little bag of this and this actually stays and because your plant is special you've got the gardenia which actually stays outdoors yeah and then comes indoors and so this blend actually works all year long okay. so you can even use it for your house plants um, let's I talk about that. bananas we love yes. them we use them a lot in our house and they're delicious of course um, you say we can use the banana peel in our garden yes we can so work? this is the P and K of the fertilizer when you're looking at the bags in the stores so there's often uh, a label that says NPK banana peels have the P and K so there's potassium and phosphorus right oh I love yes. that yes so you put this so this is the one thing that does get juicy and stinky so you 
need a cover for your bowl. Okay. Um, so banana peels in the water, cover it with enough water. So that's what I've done here. And then uh, we've got little shot glasses of the banana peel tea. So this is about two, three days later. Dilute it with double the water. Okay. So the ratio is about one is to two. You've got a little shot glass for your plant yeah. here. Okay. And then in the soil it goes. Okay. And so, how often and are you using like the banana water for your plants? A couple is that of times a month. A couple of times a month. Yes. And, and so, so I make a, my mom does a whole vat of the peels. I make this in mixing bowls and then uh, use that every week because I have a number of plants. And that was just tap cold water that you took, nothing fancy. Nothing, nothing fancy. fancy. And you right? don't, do you, do you use the peel afterwards or no? So I actually wanted to talk about that because I have a squirrel and raccoon problem. So do I. Yes, who doesn't in the city? <laughs> right, if you're living in Toronto, you have a critter problem. And so you could, if you didn't have a critter problem, you could cut these up and then put them in the soil, but I don't do that because yes. It, yes. it's a magnet for squirrels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the peel tea is, is the way to go for me. Uh, if you were repotting plants or if you were laying a veggie patch down and you had a lot of soil and you could put in layers, totally put in the peels. A deeper Got layer. Yeah. Yeah. So lastly, let's talk about water conservation because we do need water for gardening and you were saying sustainability. So what is your tip for us there? So that's, a, conserving water is a big part of sustainable gardening. And as Canadians, we are stewards of the largest, the world's largest reserves of fresh water are right here. And so reusing our cooking water is just another way mm. of being judicious, being sensible um, and making it work, right? We don't have to get fancy bags of fertilizer from the store. We can do this in our own homes. Um, reuse the cooking water, unsalted cooking water. That's the best. I usually have jars lined up in the corner of my kitchen and we can use what we have and reduce what we throw away, right? I love this, Panita. So saving money, saving the earth. Thank you so much, Panita, yes. for being here. You know where you can get some more all around great content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with all the laughs and thought provoking chats you could ask for. So do yourself a favor, like and subscribe now.